Good morning. It is, oh, today is the 28th, December 28th. Um, and I am currently in the middle of my seven day series of Capricorn energy. And it is day six of Capricorn energy. We are going to talk a little bit about the greediness and the workaholic energy with Capricorn energy. Before I jump into that, my name is Aubrey Spadine. I am the celestial body astrologer and coach. I am a certified light field astrologer, emotion code practitioner, and subconscious release technique coach. I help my clients reverse self-sabotaging behaviors and step into self-care, self-love, self-hope, all the positive energies with the self. Um, and in doing so, I work with my clients to help them come to an understanding of their divine nature through astrology, through their natal chart, and shift beliefs around negative um, aspects, negative programs within their life in order to find self-love, self-hope, self-respect, and all the positive aspects of the self. Okay, that being said, I am going to... Um, just jump into my Capricorn energy. If you are interested in knowing more about what I just said, I've done a lot of videos on it. Um, I've talked about it with um, most of my videos. And so you can also reach out to me. I have my email above, or even you can check out my website that is located in my YouTube channel um, description, description of me. Okay. Uh, or you can join my Facebook group, which is Celestial Body Astrology and Healing. All right. So let's talk about the Capricorn workaholic energy. And so why does Capricorn get that, um, that description of being a workaholic. Why do they come off as greedy? What is it about the Capricorn energy that makes them appear unfeeling or um un like unfeeling or cold? Um Capricorn energy is ruled by Saturn. And I've gone over Saturn in a previous video. So if you are wondering more about Saturn and Capricorn, you can go watch that. I believe it's day two. And so Capricorn being ruled by Saturn um, usually leads to a restriction within your life and a focused viewpoint, um, very focused viewpoint, um, almost narrow viewpoint, because it's not broadening. You don't necessarily look at the bigger picture. You look at that end goal. So Capricorn energy is very focused, very dedicated, very stubborn. Saturn energy kind of gives that stubborn tenac tenacity where they just do the next right, right? Or best according to what they see thing, which might not always be right or best, but it's the best thing that they are capable of doing. And sometimes in order to get to that end goal, a Capricorn perceives that they need to do the work. So Saturn's energy is all about doing the work. It's about learning that lesson. Um, and in order to learn lessons, you have to do the work. And so Capricorns work, work, work in order to get to that goal. And because they have worked so hard, and they have put in so much effort. And Capricorns are usually successful when they begin to put in all of that effort and they get their mind set on something and they go after it. They they take it as their own. And they're like, I put so much work into this. This is mine. If you want this, you need to work for it as well. And that can come across as greedy. Um, and so... Um, looking at this Capricorn energy, whether or not you have, uh, whether or not you have any planets within Capricorn in your natal chart, you do have Capricorn energy within your life, which is what this whole seven day series, it's supposed to help you access your shadow aspects and your light aspects during the Capricorn season in order to give your weaknesses to God, to step into the strengths that come from them. Um, when the sun sits in Capricorn, it's beautiful, it's light, um, light energy shining on Capricorn aspects. I, yesterday, I went over all of the traits of the shadow and the light, and so you can go watch yesterday's if you have not yet. Um, but 
Today, I want you to focus on where within your life you may be a workaholic. And it doesn't have to be within work. It doesn't have to be, I'm going into do the hard work. I'm going to go into wherever you work. Let's say you're a lawyer. I'm going to go work all day as a lawyer. Or let's say you work in an office as a uh, or you're a server, server, or you're a waitress, or you're a pilot, whatever it is that you do, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be you overwork in those areas. You may be a workaholic when it comes to cleaning your house. You may be a workaholic um, when it comes to art. Once you start coloring, painting, drawing, or whatever it is you do, you don't stop until you succeed. Um, <laughs> so story, um, Capricorn starts my fifth house energy. So my fifth house, I believe, starts in Capricorn. And you guys, I have decided to pick up drawing over the last week um, in my spare time. So if I'm watching TV, I'll start coloring um, and drawing and things like that. And I have drawn so much that I think my wrist hurts and my hand went numb one day. Um, that is that Capricorn energy. And it was because I did not want to stop until I succeeded at my goal. And I had made a goal and I wanted to finish that goal in one sitting. You guys, that's Capricorn workaholic energy. Fifth house energy is art, like creativity, creation, and it can do with art things along those lines. And so I am creating art and I don't stop. Like I have this tenacity. I want to succeed and finish and get to my end goal um, as quickly as I perceive possible. And so that is just an, an example of how Capricorn can show up um, within your life. And yeah, go ahead, ask yourself, where within my life am I a workaholic? Where within my life am I greedy? Um, where do I work hard? You may not even be a workaholic. What do I want to work hard at? Um, and find light and shadow energy that is there. Good and bad. Hope, shame, happiness, sadness. Um, and give that negative energy up to God and make your weaknesses your strengths. Okay. That being said, tomorrow is the last day. Come back tomorrow and I will see you tomorrow.